up guys in this tutorial we study about switch statement so what's a switch statement and why do you need them uh, basically switch statement is nothing but a, a conditional statement as in it performs certain lines of code based on a certain condition uh, so you might think that uh, I have already have learned uh, if else statement so why do I need a switch statement yeah it can be said that everything that can be done using a switch statement uh, can be done using an if else statement uh, but suppose that I, uh, I have uh, 10 or 20 conditions to check so again and again I have to write else if else if else if else if else if and so on so maybe to avoid that we have a switch statement so what's the basic uh, syntax of a switch statement it's switch uh, switch is a C keyword in parenthesis you have expression uh, what's an expression I'll tell you in some time then inside curly braces you have a number of cases as in case some constant value suppose constant val1 value 1 then you write a semicolon then you have a value 2 and so on till as an I'll write here till case n where n can be any number I'll write value n okay so how does this work uh, this expression value is compared with this constant value and if it's, equ uh, it's, if it's equal then certain lines of codes are performed as in here there can be any statements uh, like statement 1 statement 2 and so on again here you can have certain statements statement 1 or statement 3 statement 4 so the expression the value of this expression is compared with the constant value as in constant value 1 co or constant value 2 and if the values are equal then only uh, the statements are performed uh, also if this the value of this expression doesn't uh, match with any of these constant values uh, so you have a default as in the default case you can say so it's uh, you have to write default and then a colon also everywhere here is colon I, I think I said it semicolon it's a colon uh, yeah so default and you can write uh, anything here okay or statement default statement in also this default part is not compulsory as in if you want to write you can write if you don't you uh, you won't uh, it's your choice okay uh, okay now so uh, using an example we'll just try this out uh, suppose that uh, I have to print that a number is odd or even uh, so I'll first define a variable suppose a and I'll give it a, va a value suppose 9 okay and then and I'll write a is equal to a mod 2 as in uh, modulo division so we know now the value of a can be equal to uh, 0 or 1 okay uh, suppose that the number is even then the value of a would be 0 and if the value and if the number is odd the value of a would be 1 so I'll put a switch statement like this switch and the expression would be a as in I am testing a then again inside a uh, curly brace a uh, first case would be case 0 and then a colon I'll write here if it's 0 I'll write print number is even then another case I have case 1 if it's 1 the number is odd so print number is odd 
also suppose if the user enters a floating point number or something like that I can write here case uh, 2 uh, not 2 uh, sorry default so for default I'll write uh, print or something like this enter an integer okay okay now suppose uh, if the number is uh, divisible by 2 we know that uh, the number is even so it must not check for case 1 and default case so I'll put a break statement here also if the number is uh, if the remainder is 1 we know that the number is odd so again it must uh, not check for the default uh, default part so I'll write a break statement okay anyway this is the last part so I don't need a break statement also it's not compulsory always to write a break statement or break statement basically do does is that it comes out of the switch uh, switch this switch statement um, so yeah okay now let's try this in our code okay I'll open a new file mm, okay we'll write a program as in the user enters a number from 1 to 12 and we'll tell him the month as in 1 is for January 2 is for February and and if he enters a number which is greater than 12 we'll uh, throw him an output such that uh, it's an invalid month uh, so we'll write a basic structure first I'll write a print statement Uh, stating enter a month number I'll put a backslash in here I'll store the month number in an integer i as in int i is equal to uh, I'll just define i okay int i then we'll take an input scan f percentage d comma ambassador die okay now we want to check for the integer i so we'll have a switch statement so our expression would be i switch i so now i have i'll have 12 cases for the 12 months and a large default case so something like case 1 i'll have printf jan okay or january then i'll put a break statement uh, for case 2 i'll have printf February and a break statement after that okay I'll just quickly write this down okay I have written this down for all the months as in uh, 1 is for January 2 for February 3 for March till 12 for December also I need a default case as in if the user enters a value which is greater than 12 or uh, less than 1 so for that case I want to print a statement saying please enter a valid number ok ok I have saved this file as switch.c and let's execute a file for compile and run so it's saying enter a month number suppose I put 2 
so we know that 2 is February okay yeah we are get, getting it as February uh, now suppose I insert or I'll put something 0 okay yeah please enter a valid number so yeah it's uh, working properly so yeah that's all in switch statement please do subscribe to our channel like our video and do provide us suggestions for our improvement thank you